we are out here folks scouting our antelope before the season opens and it's been a good year we've uh, seen a lot of really nice bucks so far already for some reason there is a ton of sunflowers out here some of them eight feet tall so that could add some complexity to the hunt but it seems like the bucks don't want to be in those sunflowers they want to be out here I think it's going to be a good year. We're going to scout around, kind of put a game plan together. We have two tags to fill, so we want to kind of scour this area as much as possible and find the two biggest bucks we can. But last year was tough. They didn't get the moisture, and I shot a, almost a 17-incher, but he didn't have the mass or the prong. And this year, they really looks like they put on the, the prongs and the mass real well. So stay tuned. Let's go uh, see what else we can find out here on our little scouting mission. I guess what we'll do is we'll go back down this road since they're kind of angling back that direction. The horrible thing is the sun's in our face, so that makes it hard hunting, but and the wind's blowing, which kind of, they're kind of used to, but they still try to get out of it, just like everything would. At least it's the opening day and not the last day. Serengeti for antelope. Well, it's the first week of October and the rut's starting to wind down. These antelope are starting to group up again. I'm trying to sort it out here. There's probably six mature bucks, uh, but nothing Nothing we're looking for. Getting ready to line out and go in these hills. Once you bump them, they always, they like to go up in those hills. But if there was something here we wanted, it would have been a pretty easy stock. There's multiple bucks in these bunches now. Searching for the last does that haven't been bred. See him doing his, uh, recording thing. That doe's hot right there. Off they go. Good little group of antelope. There's two bucks in there. We're looking for that just next level up. I just wanted to get a little closer look and make sure that wasn't one of the bucks that we're looking for because this time of year, it's the first of what week of October and that rut is starting to wind down. Those antel those bucks territories are broken down now and they're traveling looking for second cycle does. So every one of these pockets with water and it has a group of antelope. So process of elimination, eventually we're gonna find that uh, big heavy buck we saw on the first uh, night before the hunt. Back at it this afternoon, looking for our buck. We spotted a doe about the same place we kind of left him at. They don't see us, so what we're gonna try and do is sneak out there and ambush them. I don't even know if he's in there, but we'll soon find out. Buck, but 
he's looking, he keeps looking off in the bottom of this. Let's go keep going down this way and then we'll go down the main road and go on the other one with the ghost of that tank. Well, we spotted a really big buck earlier in the day on our way back into camp for lunch. And he wasn't in a very good spot for a shot and the wind was blowing really bad, 20, 30 mile an hour gusts. So it wasn't very good uh, for shooting. So we just kind of let him be. The clouds have rolled in and actually the wind has load way down. It's just a nice calm four or five mile an hour breeze. So it's perfect for a stock. We know where the buck is. He's down in this uh, little ravine here with about four or five does and he's been fighting off a younger buck. There's not much to hide behind so we're just gonna have to keep low and just pop up and keep easing up over the swale until we can see him and hopefully get set up for a shot. So let's go see what happens. that time. He's down. He's down. He's down. Whew, what a heavy buck. <laughs> There's a storm coming, but that buck, he didn't know what happened. They heard the shot. They swung around and faced into me. Did like antelope do. Sometimes they'll just make a circle and he circled around, didn't know what happened, and stopped and trying to figure out the situation. I was able to get another shell in, get right on him and, and hammer him. I made that little buck's day, I think, though. A big buck's been fighting that little buck off all day. Oops. <laughs> we had some serious wind all morning, and I don't think I could have made that shot in the wind this morning, so it uh, paid off to wait. There he is, right there, Tyler. Let's see what this guy looks like. Oh my gosh, look at the mass on this buck. He is absolutely massive. What an awesome DIY antelope hunt here in Southern Colorado. 
Well, here's the buck. Uh, it's the first week of October, and these bucks are just starting to finish up the rut. And what's happening now is the the territories are starting to collapse and these big bucks like this one are starting to travel and he's had a rough rut. You can tell he's got everything's busted except this one point. I was afraid he was only 14 inches long but I think on this longhorn he's 15 so just a heck of a antelope and a really fun hunt. Seven and a half. What's even better? Look at that, four and three quarters. <laughs> he's missing some. Gross? Gross, he's still 85. 85, 86, gross. Net, 83, 84. A big storm has rolled through the area overnight. And now, with the clock ticking, Ike has until sundown to make something happen on a big buck he's been chasing now for a few hard days in the deep sunflowers. There's one decent buck in there and I don't think it's Gimpy. That sure makes a lot of eyeballs. Two crazy days in the sunflowers. Hit him, he ran down here and stopped, and we, which was out of our sight. We ran over the top of that thing, standing there looking at us. Awesome, it's an awesome hunt. Let's go take a look at him. Look at that brute. Look at that brute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I shot ugly and pretty all at the same time. He's got a perfect side and a messed up side. I never even saw, oh, he's got a messed up eye. No wonder he got his butt kicked. These little buggers fight. When they fight, they fight for keeps. He isn't gonna score Boone Crocker very well, but look how crazy he is. What a beautiful buck. I couldn't be more tickled. Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week right here on Eastman's Hunting TV.